Hello everyone, it's me once again. Hope you guys are having a fantastic Saturday. So I got this really unique phone. I don't think I actually found this on YouTube, but it's apparently called ATXR Mini Phone. And you, as you can see, it's pretty much the tiniest screen touch iPhone uh, design that you can find. And it's actually called the wireless call, the voice call. Okay, so it's not really good English, but it's made in China, as you can see. Uh, the best and the smallest backup phone in the world. That's what it says in here. So what it is, is it, by looking at the, um, the image in the back, it's mainly designed as a mini backup phone. Um, but if you read carefully, it says to, to receive, so you can synchronize it with your phone, whatever it is and is to make and receive a call on your mobile phone via wireless to send an SMS uh, calls and to be used as a standalone mobile phone when you insert a SIM card. So that's sort of the design that you can get and it's made in China. So what I paid for was about um, 54 euros, okay? And I managed to find it while I was on holiday. So I just thought, since this is not available on YouTube, why don't I do an unboxing? So let's do the unboxing. So as you can see, it's not a perfect condition. It's pretty clear that someone has already opened a few times. And um, voila, that's all it is. So that's the phone. And as you can see, um, it's already a lot of dent in there, right? And it's not actually a dent, but it's the seal. Uh, it's pretty clear someone actually touched it several times. So let's do the ASMR. Can you hear that? Yeah, ASMR. <laughs> and the backside as well. Right. So you can see it's, it's well already fingerprinted there. Um, pretty good condition. Um, except my fingerprint is smudging around it. But um, behind it is this tin star. And there's a bit of a camera. Uh, there's this on and off button, I presume. And nothing else. Oh, actually, two speaker and the uh, USB um, charger. And that's pretty much it, everyone. And the size, that's a Google Pixel 3 XL, by the way. It's tiny, it's very tiny. Um, thickness wise, well, it's slightly thicker. So um, what it comes with in the package is the standard USB charging cable. And um, what's this? Ah, oh, very generous of them. I think this is actually the silicon case because you won't be able to <laughs> Ah, oh, look at that, the Spider-Man. Spider-Man silicone-ish with a shopping bag kind of handle. So, I presume you just insert it there. Or is it the wrong way around? No, the camera. Yeah, it's in the right mode. So, oh gosh, this silicone is a bit loosened, isn't it? Anyway, so that's how it is. It's much cooler now. It's the Avengers. <laughs> Moment of truth, just let's turn it on. Wow, it works, okay. So it's, it says insert SIM, menus and camera. So what I'm gonna do, I believe by looking at the manual here, the only manual that is available, which is the cover, you could pair it up with your smartphone. So let's do the Bluetooth pair mode and then it's asking for the insert the sim which i will do um later okay so let's do the synchronization of the bluetooth so uh, let's turn on the pablo escobar bluetooth connection um and let's get on with this one first so if you go to the menu uh you get messaging call logs bluetooth bt dialer BT not notification remote camera. So BT is for Bluetooth. So anti-lost. 
Uh, God knows. I think that's settings, alarm, quick response, find me, calendar, image view, audio play, BT music. Oh, that's that might be quite handy. Sound recording, camera, file manager, reminder. Ah, sleep mode. And profile so those are pretty much the functions that you could get from here which is quite cute ah keyboard very uncivilized keyboard anyway so let's see if Q9 pops up Bluetooth on for sure <sighs> ah Q9 finally okay it's pairing Let's pair it. Pair with Q9. It's not showing the code here, but okay, let's pair it. Connected. Escoba Fold 2. Okay. So, is connected. It's still asking for inserting the SIM. But what I'll do is, um, I'll ask my wife to actually give me a call. Ah, look at that. Incoming call, wife. Okay, so answered. Hello? Oh, that's really... Okay, let's just put on the um, speakerphone. Hello? <laughs> it's really bad quality. <laughs> Okay. Actually, the sound quality when you dial someone or telephone conversation is not that bad. Um, once you synchronize with the Bluetooth, what it does is if someone rings you or if you dial someone, it automatically, uh, your main phone diverts into this phone. So this device becomes the call source, which is quite impressive actually. So yeah, I mean, I'm starting to understand the concept of this whole thing. Now the next mode is standalone. Uh, as you know, it was still asking me for um, SIM card, despite it was Bluetooth connected. So what I'm going to do is uh, use this uh, Nano SIM adapter because it's uh, it doesn't allow the tiniest SIM that I have on my Escoba Fold at the moment. So I have to use this adapter to be able to fit it in. Um, so what I'm going to do is first take out the SIM card from my Escoba Fold two and that's the battery by the way it's amazing isn't it it's lithium uh, battery so okay as usual okay so i think okay is it is that the right way around sim card slot in here um must be this way around and case close. Okay, let's see if the um, battery goes in. Is that the right way? Yep, seems so. And the cover is in. Let's turn it on. Dun, 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 dun. So it's, it reminds me of that really old Nokia kind of quality. Okay, so it's connecting. Why is it connected to Escobar while as... Okay, I know it's connected, but I want the emergency. Hey, come on, I just put the SIM card on it. Okay, so despite uh, turning on and off a few times it's still showing as emergency so I don't think it will um, be able to use on a it's not fit for the latest sim technology or whatever you want to put it so um, I thought the Bluetooth synchronization will automatically update the dates and the time etc it's not synchronized okay, the camera quality let's look at that that is the quality that you which is not that bad seeing the size of the camera but I think if you imagine the very good old days of Nokia when the first model came out I think that's the quality you're 
Okay, so it needs a memory card for it. So do you really want to put a memory card into this sort of phone? So I think this phone is a touch screen, which is quite amazing. And it's the tiniest that I could see. Um, but it's pretty much designed, as it says from the cover, as a backup phone. If you want to, if you need a backup phone for any case, if you're getting low with your iPhone or your, for example, Escobar Fold battery, then I guess this will be useful to carry around because this will take the call in and it's just one of those gimmick that um, something that you want to show off to your friends. Oh, I think there's also the, is there a clock mode that you can actually, yeah, here you go. This is the clock mode and look at that. Can you see that clock face is really, it's not that good. It's the, 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 those dials in the middle, you can't really read it. What's going on? It's just this Tuesday. And that's about it. But um, as I said, why not? But um, for price it is, it's quite cute. But for the practicality, I highly doubt that anyone's gonna buy it. But anyway, so I hope I showed you quite an interesting product made in China. Um, and um, yeah, quite a cute product and it's tiny. So I might carry it as a souvenir to show off to my friends that I'm a geek, gadget geek. Anyway, thanks for watching this video. This is LJP Tech. Hope you guys have a lovely weekend. All the best. Bye-bye.